a Christmas story. So this is a review that I'm doing because uh, this weekend we should be getting the HBO Max sequel to a Christmas story. A Christmas Christmas story. I think that's what it's called. Terrible title, but the reason I call it that is, let me reach over here, is because this exists. And they can't call two movies a Christmas story because that would be weird, but even though this isn't canon and isn't even made good at all, it's terrible, I don't know. But I'm going to be reviewing both of these movies in lead up to a, the sequel to A Christmas Story. So this movie is, um, I'll talk about the 4K transfer, but let's talk about the movie first. Um, this movie is an interesting holiday movie because this is, uh, well, It's a Wonderful Life is like this too. These, the both of these movies, It's a Wonderful Life and A Christmas Story, were failures when they came out. They did not do well at the box office. They didn't have a lot of notoriety, but all of a sudden they started playing constant replay on TV and stuff, and they grew uh, big audiences and fan bases and people love them now and they watch them every year and that's kind of like that's actually the fun of like a holiday movie if you want to know how to make a movie that could be a failure and yet still be profitable and still be good make a christmas movie make a holiday movie because no matter how shitty that movie is walmart will still put it out in a holiday movie section and they'll put it uh, and they'll have it for sale and and it'll, people will be watching it, constant replay, and people will be watching it, no matter how shitty the movie is. How many people watch, um, like, like Bad Santa every year? A lot of people, <laughs> you know, like, shitty Christmas movies, you know? So, anyways, the actual movie itself is a fun movie, and it's, an, it's a nice movie that's a great it, recreation of what it's like on Christmas. Everybody, every kid, every year, I don't know, I mean, I guess it's less relatable now. But a lot of kids, you know, they just have that one toy that they want to do anything to go. And it's about a kid and his links to go there. The parents are very relatable in this movie as well. The old band is super funny. Uh, these characters are just super relatable because they feel like a real family. And I think what's funny is like a lot of this messed up stuff the dad says, like the kids don't catch on. Just like, you know, like when I was a kid and adults would say weird stuff to me that I didn't get. And you kind of wanted to know, but you didn't really want to know, stuff like that. There's just a lot of authentic what it's like at Christmas time, like when you're a kid and stuff. And there's just a lot of funny moments that are also super memorable. Everybody knows the leg lamp. It's a major award. Everybody knows the uh, bunny suit. Everybody knows the I triple dog dare you, you know, all those moments. But at the heart of this movie is just this family dynamic with this family and like at Christmas and stuff. And they very authentically recreated this 1940s town and, and this home and what that life was kind of like back in the day. And it's just awesome. It's just an awesome Christmas movie. It's so much fun. It, it's, it just does everything it needs to do. It's a short movie. It doesn't overstay its welcome. It's an hour and a half. It's a, it's a fantastic movie. If... You know, there's a reason people watch this every year. There's a reason it's caught on in the way it has. Though it has caught on to a ridiculous degree. Why do people want to buy t-shirts with like, I triple dog dare you on it or like on a cup or whatever? It's just bizarre. But other than that, it's just, you know. Uh, so the actual 4K remaster of this thing is actually gorgeous. Because I did have, if I can reach over here, this uh, Blu-ray set, which you can see is a, has uh, four of, all four of these movies, which are now 4K. I have not upgraded all of them. That's why I still have that. And I've watched it on Blu-ray a couple times. And it looks okay. Uh, this is gorgeous, though. This 4K looks so clean. Uh, the scene where Ralphie's in the white shirt outf uh, sheriff outfit, and he's got all those sparkles on him. They really, they really like pop off the screen. All the colors are so colorful in this movie. You know, those Christmas lights. Just all that really pops and it makes you go, oh, your eyes. It is just, it looks gorgeous. You can really see all the wrinkles and all the sweat on, you know, the actors and stuff. And it just feels very clean and beautiful looking. So if you like this movie, it's 100% worth the upgrade. Um, it's a fantastic movie. And it's, you know, definitely worth watching this movie 
in 4K. Um, yeah, and it's just worth watching this year at, the, during the holiday season. This piece of trash. Oh boy, we'll get into that tomorrow. But uh, this one is uh, fantastic.